And 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock continues our team coverage now live from Wichita. Andy, what have you learned about the gunman, Cedric Ford? Good evening, Justin and everyone from downtown Wichita. Here we obtain these documents which show Ford's live-in girlfriend filed a complaint against him, domestic violence in nature, on February 5th. Let's take a look at the neighborhood where this incident occurred. Now, we're not going to show you the home for her protection. According to her complaint, on February 5th, a verbal fight became physical, quote, by him pushing me, then grabbing me. He placed me in a chokehold from behind. I couldn't breathe. He then got me to the ground while choking me, finally releasing me. Referring to Ford, she goes on to say, quote, he is an alcoholic, violent, depressed. It's my belief he is in desperate need of medical and psychological help, exclamation point. On that same day, Wichita police responded to Ford's girlfriend's call for help. The police report states Ford battered her, leaving visible injuries. A domestic violence pickup order for Ford was issued. Kansas law does allow for a police officer to make an arrest for misdemeanor battery with injuries, even if the officer does not witness the incident. However, records show Ford spent no time here in the local jail. Additionally, multiple calls to the Wichita Police Department have not been returned. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you about a judge's order against Ford for this incident and why it may have been a factor in yesterday's mass shootings. Reporting live in downtown Wichita, I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.